everybody. This is Steve with Eris Media. And today we're going to go over how to take your free email forwarding um, that you get with your GoDaddy domain purchase and set up a forwarding email address uh, for that domain and send it uh, to your Google Gmail account and then reply as that domain email from Gmail. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to Get into your GoDaddy account. I already signed in, but click sign in. Once you sign in, it'll bring you back here. Click on the visit my account. Once you visit your account, it's going to bring up all of your products. You're going to scroll to the bottom after you see your domain names. You won't see workspace email unless you've already set up your email forwarding. But you will see additional products. Click on that. You'll see email forwarding. Now, when you click on that, it's gonna have a drop down. Now, if you have a bunch of domains, you can do it to each one, but you only, um, if you haven't redeemed it yet, you need to redeem the credits for the domain purchase. I don't know why they don't automatically just do it, but this is how you have to redeem them. So you just pick the one, you get a hundred pack of email forwarding. So that's where you can set up your name to maybe your Gmail account and then have like a support for your website uh, that ships to uh, a Gmail account that you just created, maybe your domain name at gmail.com. It's kind of what we've done. So you select that, you click redeem credit. It's going to actually take you into the screen. Now, if you've already set this up and you're going, uh, starting kind of in the middle here, you're going to go to workspace email, uh, click on the one or click manage all, and it's going to take you here. And you'll see here I have a bunch, but I have two open. We're going to click create. If you don't have, if that's empty, because you've never done this before, that's fine. You're going to open up, create, and you're going to actually click forwarding up at the top. Then, uh, use support. I'm just doing this so my domains all don't auto-generate here when I go to type something in. And we'll click there. And then we're going to actually send this to um, AirPods. Charging case at gmail.com. All right, and then you, you drop down here, you select your domain that matches this one right here because that's going to be the plan you're going to use, and then you're going to make this uh, catch-all account. And you're going to put create. Once you do, I've already done it, you'll see here, Support at case replacements already being forwarded to AirPods charging case at gmail.com. All right. So once you've done that, it has to propagate. It'll take a little while. But now we need to set up our Google account. So just go to google.com, go here, click on your uh, account up here, and then sign in if you have not, and click on uh, go to my account. That'll lead you here. Uh, and this is just your, your myaccounts.google.com. You can also do that. Type this in the, the search, and we're going to click on security. And then from security, we're going to scroll down here, and we're going to go to two-step. If this is already turned on, you'll see uh, uh, app password, and then you can just skip ahead in the video. First thing, we're going to turn this on. Uh, yep, we're going to get started. Yep. It says, get a verification code to your phone. So, that code is, give me one second so I can log in. It is 795037. All right, and send me another one. Four, seven, nine, eight, zero, nine. Next, and then turn on. Okay.
and there's a bunch of other things you can do here. Click back. All right, and then we're going to go down here, and we're going to see how this is now available at Password. Click on that. Log back in every time. It's going to send you the two-step verification code. I got to get it. Seven one, seven oh eight. But don't ask me again on this computer. Make sure that's checked. Then you don't ever have to worry about two-step verification. All right. So we're gonna select the app. We're gonna go with other, and we're gonna name it um, case replacement now. Okay. We're gonna generate. Password. I have to blur this out because you don't want to give people your password here. But I'm going to save it here for later into a note document. And then done. You'll never see it again. So you have to make sure you copy it. And now that we have that code, we're going to go to our email account. There's some security alerts. That's fine. I'm going to go to settings. All right. I'm going to go to accounts. Then I'm going to add another email address. So this is going to be your forwarded email address. We call this support at place, place, mint. Dot com. Let's for the right case, replacement dot com. Cool. Leave this marked as treat as alias. Do not uncheck that. You put whatever name you want there. This right here, we're actually going to change this to SMTP dot gmail dot com. Username is actually going to be your email address that you're forwarding to. Pods, purging case at gmail.com. All right, and then you put in that password that we generated, the app password. And add account. Now, when you come back over here, you should be able to go to general inbox. And here's your Gmail team. So they're asking you to confirm it. You go in here and if you verify, you're going to confirm it. Then you go back into settings, accounts. We want to set support as make the default right here. Now, whenever we go to compose an email, see, it's going to come from your support. At, and now we set this to error pods charging case at gmail.com test and test. Come back here. It is. It's from case replacement. There it is. Support at casereplacement.com. So that's all there is to it. And then uh, one thing you want to be careful with is a lot of times you have your main Gmail account. And over here, you can click on that and you can add accounts. So you can kind of switch back and forth. If you're logged into your main account and you just open up this email account and you're not actually logged in as the main account you're on, when you go to send in a message as composed as to whoever or reply to a customer, your email will say case replacement from and then sent by the main account. So you'll find that people see that every once in a while and they'll, they'll email your main account. You don't want that. If you're going to use this email for customer service um, of any kind, make sure 
that you're logged in directly to this account.